Ooh. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it in the background, YouTube, but there's some good uh, low-pitched throat singing going on back there. Uh, it's pretty cool, actually, but anyway, what the crap's going on? Don't think I forgot about you all, folks. Don't think I forgot. I'm hoping that this is the final episode of the Norska campaign, not because it's been awful, uh, but because it's time to finish the Norska campaign and get ourselves ready for Warhammer 2. Um, I actually do have a review key for Warhammer 2. Um, I've gotten to play it a little bit. Um, there is still an embargo date. You should be expecting to see some content from me um, prior to release, um, but I don't know the exact dates yet. Um, so I can't show you the footage yet, but I am getting a chance to get into it. And I can tell you that it is good. It is very good, and I'm excited to bring you content for it. So we are going to uh, continue where we left off. It says I don't have any siege equipment at Altdorf, that's fine. And we have damaged buildings in Corone, which are gonna stay that way because there's some green skin jerks over there who need to be humbled. But we will take care of that when the time comes. Yeah, so sorry my videos have been late quite a bit. There has been some time when I'm just taking some time with family. And occasionally that has been a day without uploads, but other days where I haven't had an upload, that hasn't been the case. I've actually been recording and uploading, but um, YouTube these days feels it necessary to come and flag my videos as non-advertiser friendly. And they refuse to tell me why, and basically just keep giving me the same old rote answer about their policies or whatever else it is. Basically it's a bunch of garbage. And um, I'm really disappointed in them. I've written some very stern, and um, I, yeah, I mean, I, you, you all know how I am. I don't use like foul language or anything, um, but you know, I've written them some very straightforward and stern letters about how I'm not really sure why it would make sense for them to harm their own creators like they are. But basically, my my income right now on YouTube is down quite a lot, um, and that's pretty disappointing because. Uh, you know, this, this, it helps YouTubers like myself who do spend a lot of time I making content. I love it, right? Tools. I do love making the content, but, um, with me. a family and a full-time job, you know, it's, unfortunately, I don't have that time as a charity. I do need to, to make it worth my while. And, and the YouTube ad revenue helps me do that. And it's fantastic. And you all are fantastic support because you always watch my videos and I very much appreciate it. You are what keeps this channel alive and makes this fun for me. So I just want you to know that. Um, but in any case, YouTube is absolutely ruining um, their website right now. And I'm, I'm having to consider um, what to do. I'm going to give them a chance to try and make things right. I'm, I'm not super hopeful <laughs> about them making it right because so far the only emails I've sent to them, they just respond like a bunch. Well, I mean, there's no better way to say it. They respond like a bunch of dumb idiots. Uh, well, that is a nice way of putting it. There's a lot meaner ways of putting it, but yeah, they just respond like a bunch of dunces and um, Like pretty much don't pay attention to what I've been telling them, which is in intensely frustrating um, So in any case, uh, hopefully they make it better. If not, don't worry. I'm if YouTube screws me over uh, I'm not going to quit. Uh, we'll try something else uh, We can try a different platform like Twitch or Facebook or something. I don't know. We'll find a way all I'm telling you is, despite the challenges that YouTube's giving me, the channel's not going to die. Um, I mean, if anything, YouTube might self-implode, but yeah, the channel will find a way to survive. As long as you all want me here, I'll do my best to be here. So, it's a promise I'll make for y'all. Now, if there comes a day when no one wants me here, then yeah, I'll probably go spend my time elsewhere. But, as of now, there's a lot of you fantastic viewers. Like I said, who make this very fun for me and very enjoyable, and because of that, I wouldn't dream of giving this up at this time. Of course, there you know there could come a day or something where family necessitates it. I mean, that is one legitimate reason, but as of now, that is not the case, and I do not predict it to be the case. I think we can go ahead and wreck all Thor here. So yeah, like I said, I'm here to stay. Alrighty, uh, we've retaken Altdorf. It was previously ours. And it's ours once again. That leaves Throg ready to come help me at Coron, and then we just have to face the final challengers, I believe. Oh, we have to destroy um, Isleheart as well. Impossible. Alright, 
so let's end the turn. So we got a Marauder Chieftain up here who leveled up. This doesn't much matter because it's so late in the game. Very late in the game. So... You have a damage building, a Corona, I don't care. I travel the world seeking jewels. Yeah, you're not getting a peace treaty, Franz. But you can have a pieces of you treaty, I guess. You know, where I tear you into pieces and destroy your empire entirely. What do you think of that, Franz, huh? This action does not have my consent. Uh, I don't really care if it has your consent, to be honest, buddy. So, all right, here we go. The Greenskins continue to hit the same settlement over and over again, demonstrating why they have that giant Greenskin brain. It's actually demonstrating why they're complete and utter idiots. But um, I am quite unconcerned with them continually raiding the same That's settlement because the Bretonians are my target of choice at the moment. My army is fully healed. And I think this is Bretonia's last stand, to be honest. It's too bad that Lewin won't be here for it, but yep. Let's consider this Bretonia's last stand. We're going to fight the battle. And once we have taken Coron, uh, we should be in a position to heal up face the final challenger, and take this campaign down once and for all. Speaking of campaigns, um, what you all can expect from me, um, I, I haven't done a campaign faction vote because I, uh, on Warhammer 2 because I intend to play all of them. Uh, there'll be different campaigns going on on different days of the week. Um, the first one you will see from me, which should be really exciting, um, is actually going to be Techless. Now, I've chosen that one because I know a lot of people were saying, hey, they haven't done enough coverage of the High Elves campaign, or when is CA going to send more High Elves campaigns? So I asked Creative Assembly, I was like, can I help show off the High Elves campaign? And they specifically suggested Techless because he has a much more difficult starting position than his brother Tyrion. Tyrion is more of like a starting, or like a, a beginner type starting position, and Techless has a very challenging uh, start position, so I will be playing as Techless, and I'm going to do it on uh, very hard difficulty uh, as well, and what I'm also going to do when Warhammer 2 releases is I've, I've been playing quite a bit because I'm attempting to gain knowledge on the game, and uh, what I'm going to do is also release a guide for each faction in terms of helping you know what would be some tips for getting started with that faction and kind of how they behave uh, in the campaign. So I think you'll like it, and it will hopefully provide you with a good starting point for a new game. I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's go destroy the gatehouse. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I was uh, thinking there for a second. Alright, the Hell Cannon. Let's get rid of some archers. Actually, you can go ahead and shoot here. All right, yeah, so that's one of the pieces of content I have. The other thing I think we'll do over the first few days is kind of talk through um, what are some of the strengths and weaknesses of the different factions. I'm already getting some feel for them. Uh, I'm doing my best to gain a feel for them. I'm going to get to play a few multiplayer battles with other people who have gotten early, um, early release Steam keys. Um, so I will have some thoughts on multiplayer when it releases. Uh, quite honestly, though, any new release game, I don't expect the multiplayer to be perfectly balanced. Well, Eric, why are you saying that? Are you seeing a bunch of unbalanced? I have no idea. I'm just saying that because, I mean, that's typically the case with Total War games. Um, I, I will tell you this, that, that Warhammer 2, um, in terms of the way the units and the spells and everything are acting, behaves similarly to, um, to uh, Warhammer 1. So I would expect that, as a general rule of thumb, um, the balancing probably should be good. Uh, for Warhammer 2, uh, at least close, right? Not like uh, when Warhammer 1 released and Spirit Leech was such a problem and so on and so forth. Probably won't be the case. Oh, whoops, I totally forgot to bring these guys up. Um, and I forgot to run these guys. Is there some reason why you're not climbing up the walls? Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that being the case, um, let's see, we got the gates open. Through the gates! Let's go destroy this... Uh, wizard. Are the gates not destroyed? Uh, I'm pretty sure the gates are destroyed. 
Oh, I thought that was a Dwellers Below. I was starting to get pretty scared, actually. Let's get these Marauders in here. I think the gate is just full of big, giant animals right now, and that's kind of our problem. Um, let's take this, target these Knights of the Realm. But yeah, so far I've been really happy um, with what I've been playing on uh, Warhammer 2. Very happy. Very happy indeed. And like I said, I'll, I'll uh, do my best to give you all a review of what I've experienced um, as soon as I am able to. As soon as I am able to. But my thoughts remain very positive about the game as a whole. So hopefully that's something that gives you some hope. Why did I just do that? I don't know. Ooh, sweet purple son of Zerus. You know that's what's going to happen. All right. Oh, some of y'all have been complaining I haven't been getting enough close-ups. My bad. You're probably right. So, close-ups. Here we are. Get some close-ups of this sweet mammoth action. And these mammoths have been a lot of fun. I don't think I'm going to get to my goal of 10,000 mammoth kills in this campaign. But... We got pretty close, and I really appreciate the viewer who has been keeping track of the mammoth count, by the way. Thank you, good sir. Let's move on through. Cavalry are kind of not good for my mammoth kill count, to be honest. My Marauder Champion's really getting beat over here? I guess they got torn up by the towers, probably. Just go ahead and start bringing these guys down. Oh, I may have shot them to death with my own hell cannon, actually. Yeah, that appears to be the case. <laughs> Are my Marauder Champions getting beat? No, you're just killing your own men, Air. That sounds like me, folks. That sounds a lot like me, in fact. That's why Patchy is one negligent commander. Thank you, thank you, my beautiful Norskin Mammoths. Okay, let's get a little bit of magic out here. We haven't gotten any magic yet in this battle. We'll start with the magical land ship known as Sea Fang. Right through that juicy little blob over there. Oh, purple sun. Get ready for the sunburn, folks. The purple sunburn of Zerus. Here it comes. Let it loose. These Grail Knights have physical resistance, remember, not magic resistance. Oh, please, sorcerer. Oh, no, no. Go the other way. Go the other way. Turn around. I insist you turn around, Spell. I'm not joking. Come on. Bounce off the building. Get over there. Well, not nearly enough people were sunburned for my liking here, but at least a few of them got it, so it'll make me feel slightly better about life. Uh, speaking of my sorcerer, let's make sure he stays safe. There we go. I'm just letting my mammoths wreck everything in the town center just because I can. I probably shouldn't be overly careless with my units because it does take quite a long to retrain them. And really, Hell Cannon, you're just going to kill all my own guys. You still managed to get 333 kills, though. I'm proud of you. I really am. It's in the battle. So the peasants of Bretonia slaughtered. Their lord, nowhere to be found. His whole talk about that which is sacred... Yeah, whatever. Or wait, wait, that was Albrecht. But whatever, I'm holding Lewin and Albrecht accountable here. Albrecht especially, since he was there. Um, We'll establish an outpost, why not? I think we lost one unit there. Crap, we lost that unit of champions. That's unfortunate. Picked up a Lux Stone. There we go. There is, like, just this one army of Bretonia left. Which is utterly annoying. I do want this Marauder Champion unit back. Um, the Greenskins, I don't need to worry about them because really our goal here, when we look in terms of objectives, is to defeat the Empire in Bretonnia. We have defeated the Empire here momentarily. Once we finish off their scummy settlement at Isleheart. That should be the end of the Empire. Um, let's just raise it. Okay, did that get rid of the Empire? Let me 
settlement. It still says the Empire's alive. The Empire. Well, it doesn't show any provinces. Settlements, zero. So they must just have an army off somewhere. Which means that they should soon find themselves destroyed. Armor piercing damage, hard to hit. Devastating charge. Woundmaker, a natural thirst. Let's finish devastating charge. I think this leaves us in a pretty good position. Holy cow. Isn't there a special building that we can build here? Oh, only if we do the research. My bad. Technology. Occupied Coron Hamlet is required. Crap! Wait, city-state? Coron City, Coron Town, Coron Village, Coron Ham... Oh, well, we probably just have to wait a turn then. I guess. Something like that. We need to leave one settlement piece open here. Income. Let's do this thing that gives us a little bit of public order, because I'm not worried about income at this point. We have quite enough money to finish. Level 27 sorcerer here. Oh, we'll finish this misdirector, I suppose. And let's end another turn. So, there is the emperor. He's brought himself out to be sacrificed to Throg. Yeah, I don't really care if we have a defensive alliance. So, shove off! Yeah, Greenskins, I'm really still not quite sure what you're accomplishing, other than proving how utterly ignorant you are, but sure, if it makes you feel better. Alright, so both Bretonia and the Empire are still alive, and because I'm recruiting... Ha, <laughs> look, the Empire is going to... or the Bretonian forces are going to try and recruit. Oh, it's not Franz. I really hoped it was Franz. I was going to personally put him out of his misery, but since it's not Franz, he's not really worth my time. How did we lose a unit in this army? So, leadership... Treasury... Yeah, just the treasury, why not? All right, the Empire's gone. Let's take Throg and uh, start heading over towards um, Wolfric. I might trade off um, Peasant Crusher to Wolfric just so we get really mammoth heavy on the last battle. At least what I think is going to be the last battle. Okay, we gotta... Can we build the special building yet? Uh, uh. Oh no, no, we gotta do the research, my bad. There it is. One turn. Secrets of Grain and Grape. Sure, why not? Patchy Werekin. Give him Devastating Charge as well. What do y'all think? Has it been a good campaign? I think it's been a good campaign. Oh my gosh, just take the Alliance. Leave me alone. I might think about paying them just to quit bringing me up on the diplomacy screen. It's like Orion's like, hey, 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 Patchy, can I be your friend, Patchy? Patchy, hey, Patchy, Patchy, I want to be your friend. Hey, Wolfric, Wolfric, can you come over and play? Oh my gosh, Orion. Goodness sakes, man. Goodness sakes. All right, two more turns until we get that. Um, let's just end another one real quick. Ja, ja, ja. Appius, the Bale Fiend, has a point here. Restore. Casualty replenishment rate? Sure. Dreg... Hey, you got enough G's in your name there, buddy? You really might want to lay off that. I'm not really sure what your parents were thinking. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Getting close, folks. Getting close. So if we have Peasant Crusher, that's going to be full on four mammoths. That's going to be great. I mean, like, really and truly great. A challenge? Disorder. Disorder? I like the way you think, Throg. Alright, so Throg's coming through. Oh, we don't actually have to build the building. I remember now. Yeah, you don't build the building. It's just, um... I think it's just the research that unlocks for you. All right, all right. One more turn, and we'll bring Wolfric out. We'll swap uh, the mammoth over. 
So that we got full mammoth nonsense going on. Really? We can't reach Bretonia here? Well, they're pretty well trapped. I'm gonna move Wolfric down here so we can make the exchange more easily on the next turn. So we gotta waste another turn just to kill these stinking coward peasants who hopefully can't run away to the ocean. That would be infuriating. Okay, Throg, if you do the honors. Albrecht, it was not so nice knowing you. Good luck in the next life. How are you still alive? I mean, trying to figure out this question myself. Please be dead, sir. Excellent. Excellent. So, victory objectives. Bretonia is dead. The Empire is dead. Defeat all challengers sent against you. Well, don't mind if I do actually come to think of it. Heading out. We're going to ditch this uh, one lousy skirmisher, and we're going to replace him with Peasant Crusher. So now we are fully ready. Our Death Shaman levels up, though I don't think that anything we do here is going to make a big difference going into this final battle. At least I think this is the final battle, I guess. Currently teleport. Select a lord. Well, you ought to know which lord's going to teleport. It says defeat the final challenger. I mean, for crying out loud here. There's like one guy missing in our armies. That I'm just gonna that's gonna be way too much OCD for me, so. Um I'm gonna end the turn. I don't fear the undead. Shut up, Manfred. That's how you handle diplomacy with the vampires, by the way. Manfred likes it. It's just it's the way that his daddy treated him, and he just prefers things that way, I think. So let's head in here, the final challenger, the final challenger. Wow, it takes 15,000 to teleport. Good thing I've got it. All right. Festus Plagueis, is this Darth Plagueis? It might be, folks, this might be Darth Plagueis. I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, let's see, so trolls, spawn, forsaken. Yeah, these guys are going to get massacred. Absolutely massacred. Ammunition? Ah, I can't put on any of my units. That's sad. All right, let's fight the battle. Wolfric faces Festus Plagueis for what could be the end of the campaign, though it may not be either. I haven't ever finished the campaign, so I don't know if this is the end of it. What a compliment! Although the other ruinous ones show us no favor, they at least grant us recognition. The followers of the Crow dare stand before us as an affront to our master. We have shunned their god. And for that, they consider us a threat. And so they should. Our victories prove the master's dominance. Now we will show them what a threat we really are. We shall drown them in their own blood and guts. Glory to the master! Alright, folks, I don't know who the master is, but yes, glory to him. Or so says Wolfric. Wolfric, king of the marauders. I don't know if he's a king, actually, but I would just assume. Chieftain, whatever the heck. Warlord, something. Wolfric the something or other. Alright, it's mammoth time, baby. It's mammoth time. Okay, uh, let's get... Femir Warriors amidst our Berserkers. I love the combination of Berserkers and Femir Warriors. It's just like crazy damage along with armor piercing damage. It is good, good stuff. We're going to use our Hell Cannon to try and lure these guys a bit. Crow's puppet has his master's favor. Attacking him is futile, at least for now. Oh, this is going to be probably something like the elves, where we have to do some damage or something. Let's move up and let our hell cannon get things started. Okay. 
Okay. Let's uh take the initial volley here. We'll see how long the enemy wants to sit still with the uh, Ice Forge Legion. I don't think you're going to want to do that. This Ice Forge Legion has racked up a tremendous number of kills in the short time that it has spent in the campaign. These Chaos Warhounds are no exception to this rule. Take that, freaking Warhounds. Let's see. Alright, there's some infantry coming into view, and apparently some Dragon Ogres. Merry Christmas! Okay, that's enough um, Ice Forge Legion. I can't take away all the fun from my Mammoths. So, cease fire. Stand to. We're gonna do this the old fashioned way. The mammoth way. Oh, actually, Ice Forge Legion, um, you may feel free to destroy their Hell Cannon. Alright, into the breach. See if we can get some damage done to the enemy lord here. And we'll fall in now that we've created a blob, we'll fall in with infantry. Take that guy down, charge them. Over here, let's bring up the wolves. There we go. Fall in, fall in. Time to support the mammoths. Now we're gonna leave one unit of spears back here. Yeah, I actually kind of wanted you to shoot that. They must have lost sight of it or something for a second. Let's kill these dragon ogres. Start working down some of the infantry. Let's bring in our maws of savagery on the enemy lord. I don't know if this is a scenario where we have to like inflict some damage. Ooh, the Ice Forge Legion just took a bit of a hit. Okay. Let's start spirit leeching. The enemy lord is actually taking some damage. Okay, we have gotten rid of a pretty fair deal of the enemy army. The enemy hell cannon is not going down. So I'm gonna go take it down. Let's take out these chaos warriors. Okay. Let's all refocus on our main target here. Gonna buff the weapon damage, buff the enemy or uh, he, uh, friends around me. All right, his protection is gone. We're gonna hit him with the the hunted thing here. Yeah, he's he's a goner. So long, challenger. So long. You're toast. Followers of Norska are entering the fray to reinforce the enemy champion. That seems rather foolish. All right. Mammoths. Let's do this. Okay, we're going to get rid of this Hell Cannon real Actually, let the infantry deal with the Hell Cannon. I kind of want my wolves over here. Help take out the enemy mammoths. Straight on into the enemy mammoths. Maws of Savagery over here. All right. Wolfric is going to show what it means to be a true mammoth. Alright, here comes the Maws of Savagery. Let's get after this Lord here. Alright, Wolfric is going head to head with two more mammoths. Let's bring up some more reinforcements. Uh, Ice Forge Legion, I got you a target right there. Let's take these guys out real quick. Actually, come over here and roll a Spirit Leech. Let's help get rid of this mammoth a little bit quicker. 
Let's see, where's my... Let's get over here, get the Shaman Sorcerer a little bit closer so we can use the Tormentor Sword. Okay... Should be able to pin that down, start using some of this stuff. Alright. So, the... Oh wow, look at all these guys over here. What's up? I totally missed micro a whole bunch of units. Can you believe it? Not me. I wouldn't do such a thing. I wouldn't do such a thing. Have some faith, people. Oh no, the Ice Forge Legion! We don't turn our backs on the Legion. The Legion has been good to us. All the other units in this army, except for Wolfric, I couldn't really care less, but the Legion? I don't think so. Where's my Fate of Buna? That's right, you stinking harpies. These guys are no match for my mammoth powers. No match. Wow, my premier warriors are actually getting beating. Oh, well, it's it's minotaurs. No wonder we're getting beat down. Really? Minotaurs versus premier warriors? That's going to be a first for me. Check it out. It's like Gorbul meets premier warrior. Definitely looks like Gorbul has the size advantage here. We're going to act like that didn't happen. Okay. We should be able to mop up these marauding minotaurs. My Khmer warriors have actually done a pretty brilliant job, all things considered. There comes the maws. And let's watch as the last few of our foes face off against our superior Norskin forces here. Yeah, when the mammoths show up, separates the uh, the real men from the boys here. That's going to be that, folks. That's going to be that. So, Darth Plagueis is defeated, the challenger of the crow. I would have never thought that it would have been a Sith Lord, but nice play, creative assembly. Nice, nice play. Oh, follower of the... Okay, so the Ever-Chosen summons. Oh, that's right. We probably have to defeat our Kaon. The scars rend deep in the lands. Hey, let's see. The scars you rend deep in the lands to their peoples and the tribes has caught the attention not just of your fellow gods, but of one who serves them of all ever. The Ever-Chosen has designed to summon you forth. He has use for such a warlord and request you fight at his side in the war to come. Your armies shall march with his legions as he ravages the southern realms. The rewards will be great, and yet such destruction will be in his name. Forging your own bloody path, surely the quickest way to demonhood. Even... Alright, so a pact of blood and souls. Follower of the Ever Chosen. So you will receive the following effects while the warrior, while the warrior of Chaos Faction exist. Where the true Ever Chosen, you will receive the following effects after the Warriors of Chaos Faction has been defeated. Chaos is currently alive. Ooh... Well, we're going to reject the Three-Eyed King, like Archaon can stop me. Can you feel it? From the north it comes. The tendrils of chaos spread south, tainting the lands. And with it, the warriors of chaos march. We must ready ourselves for war is coming but who has brought the warring tribes together what manner of champion holds that power all right there we go it does say ultimate campaign victory 
Let's see. Did we actually get to fight Archaean? If he comes in here. So we did reach the ultimate campaign victory. That's cool. We beat it. But, like, is, did Archaean actually, like, come on the map? Warriors of Chaos. I mean, it does show him there. Let's take a turn or two and just uh, see what happens. If Archaean is indeed here, I think it would be somewhat um, somewhat cool for us to go and defeat him. Even though we technically have beaten the campaign. It's kind of odd that you would challenge Archaean like that and that it would turn out that you don't actually have to fight him. That is a little bit odd. Maybe I don't understand something there, but it seems odd. We're gonna roll back through here. Okay, there they are. Sigvald, Archaeon, Kolek. Alright. Giants and demons have fallen between. Shut up. Thought we told you earlier, Manfred. Alright, the hordes of chaos are going south. That's good. We should be able to meet them in battle. How many units we got? Corners. All the units. Wolfric just needs to heal. What can we get here? Get the brutes of the hound would be a pretty good unit to draw in here. Might as well. Okay, let's get... Let's get moving here. Alright, so Wolfric should get all healed up. And let's just kind of keep moving to make an intercept on the Chaos Warriors. I don't care if I defeat them all, per se, but I at least want to defeat Archaeon. Alright, here we go. I want to stay within my province so that these guys can finish re recruiting. Shouldn't be all that many turns. We'll make our way north here. So Kolak is still way up there in the northern waste. Brayherds come. Not concerned about any Brayherds. I'm not concerned about anything other than smashing the Ever Chosen's face. Okay. Quickly working our way north here. Kolak. Looks like he's going after the Gormandy tribe, maybe? That's funny. They've been my allies the whole game, and I couldn't care less. Couldn't care less what happens to them at this point. With Rog, you just don't have as much campaign movement there, buddy. Okay, so Kolek is up there, but I haven't... Oh, he's probably headed for our lands, actually. That's fine. He can have some of those other provinces. I'm really quite unconcerned. I just want to find our Kaon. See if we can spot our K on this time. Okay, Kolak is pushing towards Winterpire, the Wood Elves. Join the war. Yeah, whatever. Go away. Okay. Whistlemind is destroyed. Diplomacy, Warriors of Chaos. It doesn't show them where they're at. To the four corners. I see. Are those spots that have been raided by myself or the Gormundi tribe? Okay, I'm not exactly. Okay, Kislev is under siege. It's likely that Chaos actually has a force there, unless it's the vampires. Which I guess it could be. Hardy. Uh, I really don't care about all these things right now. 
Apache, devastating charge. Okay, there we go. Let's move up towards Kislev and see if we can find the forces of chaos. Hopefully, our Kaon. I saw another movement up there, yeah. Oh no! Kolak! Not my settlement, man! Wait a minute. Okay, that's not the Ever Pansy. Okay, I saw another one there, but it's not him. It's just an agent. Kolak! No, that was my. That was my favorite settlement. That brings tears to my eyes. It really does, Kolak. That hurts. It hurts so much. It really doesn't, folks. I'm absolutely unconcerned, actually. Ah, here we go. It is vampires down there. There are some forces of chaos here. Let's move up and uh, gather their attention here. Okay. We're about to mammoth stomp some chaos. I mean, seriously, leave me alone, vampires. Okay, Sigvald. This is going to be a three chaos stack versus us. Quite honestly, this is like the petty show that I'm not even interested in. I really want Archaeon, so I'm going to just hit a save here and just make sure it doesn't screw me over too bad. And we're going to just defeat these guys and chase them off because, yeah, these guys aren't the main event. I can't be wasting time on pettiness here. I want the Ever Chosen. I see death. My challenge? Undeniable. Disorder! Rock hears you. Okay, we're gonna take these guys out, and then we'll put our armies into a uh, camp stance. Aw, oh, really? They used up all the movement points. I guess Wolfric came across the river. That's frustrating. Never. Alright, well, let's see if we can spot our Kaon. Kolek is still up in our settlements. I haven't caught sight of our Kaon yet. Let's finish Restore. There we go. Where are you at, our Kaon? Melee attack, minus melee defense, I'm fine with that. Alright, King of Trolls. Come on forward, buddy. Alright, let's see if we can spot Archaeon. Yeah, Kolek taking our settle. Ah, there he is. Okay, he's up north, so we'll beeline to get in and get to him. What what they're doing to our settlements is irrelevant because it's not going to hurt me in the least. Okay, Sartharel, the Everwatcher, is up there as well. So they may try and double back on us. They may actually try and double back on Throg, but Throg should be able to flee away. Okay, but that is indeed where we're going to find our opponent. So Sartharel, Archaeon, and Kolek still up north. They will be destroyed. Ah, look! This is good. They're going to turn towards us. I welcome the opportunity. Except I'm going to retreat and pull them forward. So Sartharel and this loser think that they can take down... Uh, Wolfric's army here. I find that to be quite laughable. We're going to fight this one, and then we'll fight down Archaeon, and that should be the end of the campaign.
Okay, there's going to be reinforcements coming in from this side. That being the case, I want to go ahead and sling this infantry over here. I'm actually going to take the wolves along with my mammoths because they can move at better speed. Actually, let's run the mammoths up front. Mirror Warriors in this stack over here. Ice Forge Legion, you can just stay here. Really, we're missing a whole gun off the Ice Forge Legion. That's frustrating. Okay, let's rock and roll. Push up over here. Mammoth stack, go straight ahead. I really don't think that they can stop my mammoths with that force. And I want to intercept. Start killing Chaos Warriors with great weapons here. Oh, uh, that was a penumbral pendulum. Those halberds are actually a nice. Target to hit there. Okay, swing on in, boys. Start moving up. This is going to be a perfect spot for a purple sun. Send our ship careening out this way. Eh, not that good. Purple Sun, these guys. Enemy Lord is already dead. And here comes the Purple Sun. Alright, this should put a pretty quick and decisive end to the enemies over here. No, 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 not, not you all. You all come in here to intercept. Freaking, give me a dang attack order here. Okay, so this this army's been wrecked. Ice Forge Legion, let's get up here and prepare for phase two. My uh, wolves took quite the savaging in that engagement. This giant's still alive for some reason. Maybe it's because I haven't focused him. Oh, my... That would be a hell cannon, folks. Is that giant dead? Should be. Not really sure how these guys are regrouping right now, but I do have an idea on a quick way to get them out of here. Whoops, I didn't mean to use all those, but I just did. But we should be able to drop their leadership off the map. That'll put an end to that real quick. Oh, no, no, my legion, my legion. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Over here, wolfies. No, 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 over here, over here, over here. We gotta protect the legion. How do these guys keep coming back from routing? What kind of stupid joke is that? Just get off the battlefield already. All right, Ice Forge Legion, do your thing. The Maws of Savagery and the were Werewolves have your back here. Okay, we are just about ready to take the engagement here. There's a few oddball units that keep regrouping back here but I wouldn't expect they're going to have much more impact on the battle. Ooh, that's the hounds. Let's get back just in case. They can actually do some decent damage to infantry, I believe, but... Get these guys out of here. I've had enough of that. Hopefully that's not like a final transmutation. All right, after Sartharel. Quickly now. These guys should momentarily rout. Okay, 
yeah, yeah. Go attack Sarthoril, please. Okay, Ice Forge Legion's gonna have to watch out because there's some some big nasties over here, actually, and my sorcerer is gonna have to get out of here as well. No, no, no. Come on, get out of there. It's just infantry, and you're in a chariot. You're crying out loud, man. Look at that. Okay, is Sartharel dead? Let's get the mammoths over here. We're actually losing mammoths. I actually had a mammoth. Waver? Mammoths can waver? No! Peasant Crusher! Kill Sartharel! For crap's sake, when I say attack the big bird, I mean for you to attack the big bird. I'm quite adamant. Roll away from this infantry. Should be able to keep those guys away. Oh, peasant crusher, please don't leave the realms of the living. Okay, Sartharel is dead, so I don't guess we can use that. Wipe out the Daemon Spew here. Let's get our uh, Ice Forge Legion out of here. Okay. Peasant Crusher got knocked out of combat, but he's still alive. There we go. Alright, so Sartharel's been defeated. The only bad thing is we took a ton of damage, and our Kaon's going to be right behind him. Um, let's see, do I got any wolves left? Yeah, let's get up here. Okay, let's just get our mammoths to safety. Kind of back off a little bit here. Actually, the weird spawn's still over here, so let's finish them. Oh, wow, I just fed them some kills because of that weird spawn being there. Get back! Ooh, fortunately that one missed. Yeah, fortunately on my part, some not so great shots here from enemy hell cannons. The trees saved me from a couple there. Alright, here we go. Just hold off Ice Forge Legion, we're just gonna kill our own guys. Yeah, I think I hit my own Chaos Sorcerer. Get over there, get him! Okay, well that was far more ugly than I had ever intended. But, we finally cleaned it up. Everwatcher's dead. Other guy's dead. If we can just do a bit of healing, should be able to finish this one up clean. Gonna end the battle. We just about lost Peasant Crusher too, and that would have been just downright depressing. But you can see that Chaos is no match for my Mighty Mammoth spam. Oh no! Kolek, please buddy! Please! Yeah, I really don't care. It's me being quite unsincere in my concern for my provinces. They're no longer needed. Okay, so Kolak is still going to try to gang, or uh, Archaean's probably still going to try and gang up on me, but he'll have far less of a chance if I move. If I move back to here, and let's just see, income, it doesn't say that we can't reinforce, which is all I'm really making sure of. I'd like to heal so that I can use my mammoths for far more crushing. 
Somehow we managed not to lose a single unit through all that, and I was really concerned about the uh, Ice Forge Legion. The onslaught. Okay. Yeah, I really don't care about these guys, just whatever. Level 30. There you go. You. Whatever you are, Ritualistic Fury, sounds good. Shut up! <laughs> Occam's Mind Razor, there you go. I don't think I need you for anything, but... Let's see what our Kaon does. If he hunts me down, so be it. We'll take the fight. Yep, he's going to do so. It's kind of odd how they move up with their strongest stack and attack me with their weakest stack. So, Wolfric's a little bit weak, but we're still perfectly capable of defeating our Kaon and his cronies here, and then that will be the end of this campaign. We went a little past where we were supposed to, but I felt it necessary to defeat Archaeon. I'm not dead intent on wiping out Kolek. He is of little concern to me at the moment. I'm going to spread my forces out so that Hell Cannon shots will be minimized in terms of their usefulness. get these guys in a little group separate all this flyers okay chaos marauders blood for the blood god all right group 1 so be it rock ready okay let's take all these guys Start the deployment. We're probably gonna have to rush forward because the enemy is gonna have some hell cannons coming onto the battlefield. Wolfric is gonna be a little bit late to the game. Wish I had a way to heal this guy. Chariot, real quick. Okay, group mammoth. Come on up. Okay. Alright, Throg. Just trying to line up to kind of block this incoming army. Ooh, they got the Swords of uh, Chaos back there. It's going to be interesting, to say the least. Okay, the enemy lord over here should be getting wrecked. Oops, forgive the camera angles for a moment. And he was wrecked. Okay, the Hell Cannons are up, so I'm going to send my Flyers, which is going to be Group 2. We're not going to tolerate that. Here and attack. Okay, my mammoths are incoming. Oh wow, this is gonna be this is gonna be a bit nasty. Should pound our way through all this infantry over here with ease. Where's my death sorcerer? Let's wait till some of the cavalry is out of the way and I'll save Archaeon for my uh, mammoths. Let's get Throg. Torment their sword. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. Help my Bale Fiend. Help him. Alright, over here, Bale Fiend. Okay, we're absolutely wrecking our way through this blob over here. Let's 
bring in the mammoths to help take out the Swords of Chaos, who are about to hit our Bale Fiend. Ooh. Appius, you may not survive this one, son. How is my where? Oh, that's Archaeon. I was like, how in the world is this thing so strong versus me here? Let's actually get out of here. Mammoths! Come to bear. We have Archaeon in our sights. He's on foot, which is actually not ideal for me. All right, Wolfric. Pin him down. All right, group Mammoth. Get on him. I can't freaking click an attack order on him because he's so teeny. There we go. All right, double back in here. Bale Fiend. Let's do a uh, Occam's Mind Razor. Why are you guys like running off and not attacking where I tell you to attack? That is so infuriating. I don't remember telling you to attack the Swords of Chaos. I remember telling you to get on Archaeon. Somehow Archaeon is like almost immune to pain here. This army should survive over here. Purple sun over there. Alright, four. One. Alright, our Kaon is nearly gone. There's some chosen that have entered the fight over here. That's not ideal for me. The hell cannons are gonna be silenced. And let's just check it out as our Kaon faces all my monstrous units here. See if we can vomit on uh, Archaeon. Come, my pretties. Kill Archaeon. Somewhere underneath there. Uh, did we get him? Yes! Archaeon has been defeated. And then all we have to do is finish off these guys over here. Oh, I think we lost Peasant Crusher along the way. That's unfortunate. But we did manage to purple sun some of these Chaos guys on the way out the door. So there we go. Archaeon defeated. Wolfric survives. Throg just heals his way straight to victory. And that's going to be the end of the Ever Chosen, folks. Hope you all enjoyed the campaign. Heir of Carthage signing out for now. And guess what? The next campaign I see in is going to be Warhammer 2. Should be a lot of fun. High Elves with Techless. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Like I said, see you soon.